My goodness, what was that? <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Lily, and welcome back to another episode of Dr. Livingston, I presume. Okay, we're not going to get the dialogue that we got the first time around, which is fine. Wow. What is that? Oh, it's just... I thought that maybe, like, there was something going on here because, like, that very top one looked a bit different, but I think that I'm just imagining things. Okay, so the last time we came into this room for the very first time, and it's very clearly ransacked. Someone has been in here. Someone has, uh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, that fire is so cool looking, though. Okay. Okay. So I guess let's start at the very beginning, right? There's so much to see here. There's so much to look at. A mess. What could have happened here? He got very angry at his papers and he was just like, I've had it. I don't need this stuff anymore. I'm over it. A letter. Ugh, we can't pick up any of this stuff. This is very unsatisfying. Gotta close all these drawers. What about this one? Package? Can't pick up that either. There's, oh, I thought that this was like a lever or something, but it's not. Oh, okay. K Y K, Bendeed. That's definitely going to be helpful. I think. Oh wait. Oh. Oh. Okay, cool. Oh! A shilling and an unusual block. block. Unusual block, a wooden block and an unusual oblong shape. This is oblong. It looks like a piece of a puzzle. Okay. So we'll have a puzzle to deal with. And then a shilling, a low value coin. I wonder why David hit it so well. What what happened to it? It's got a big chunk like destroyed. Victoria del Grata Britannar Rex something. I can't Oh, can't read the rest of that. That's gone. And then there's I'm assuming there's something here, but then 27 here. Okay. Uh, I guess we can close. Can we close that? No, it's just going to be out there for forever. Oh. L-shaped block. We can't get any more of that. There's another one here. Oh. Oh. Okay, so we need two more. Okay. Um, is there anything that? What is this? Oh, that's for that drawer. Okay. I guess that we're done in this corner then. So this looks like, yep. Okay, so we'll need to find the numbers for this too. Clock is not working. It shows the wrong time. Remember, fix it. Hmm. Okay. So the clock isn't working. Where is the clock? Oh. What is this? Does not... I mean, there's this, but I can't do anything else to it. Okay. Nope, that's just for that. This can be opened. Nothing any value in there, so let's close that. Um... Oh, okay. May... Hold on. May 2nd. Should I do two May? Maybe I should just do two May. Uh, 1872. Dear Henry, how are your travels? I hope all is going smoothly. Thank you for your last letter. I'm pleased to hear that the fever has subsided and that you are recovering. I have an unusual request. I was hoping that the messenger would reach you before you sail to London. This is of great importance as I would like to ask that you return to my house. As I mentioned, the matter at hand is rather unusual. I'm deeply sorry, but I can provide you with no further details at the moment. Certainly, should it be an inconvenience for you. My goodness, someone went crazy outside. Uh, 
inconvenience for you, please do not bother your head about it, but simply continue your journey. Should the opportunity arise, please do come by and visit my humble abode once more. Faithful friend, David Livingston. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. He never sent this letter to me. He must have needed help before. Ah, uh, and there's another puzzle piece. So he was planning on having our character visit, but something happened and he was kidnapped. Uh, uh, oh. This page is missing. Okay. Um, did we put that in our inventory? We didn't. So he was either kidnapped or he got lost somewhere. Some shenanigans happened. Like that's why we're here. We're here to find his his ass and uh, and have a cup of tea together. Like I don't really know why we're here to find him, but I guess that if you had a concerned friend and your friend came looking for you, then that makes sense, right? Because I know that if my friends went missing, I'd probably go and I would call the police first, to be honest. Like, I wouldn't go to their house and go rummaging. Well, to each his own. I... I can't... I'm not really sure what this is. Pilgrimage. I guess it's a... It's a book. And, um... I guess our character isn't too fond of it. Charcoal. Oh! Oh, here it is. Here it is. Charcoal, a nicely shaped piece of charcoal, perfect for sketching. A strange block, a wooden block in an unusual shape. It looks to be part of a puzzle. Okay. So we know one more of that. This chair is like, really interesting. Oh, okay. How, oh. Okay. What are we supposed to be aiming for here? Like, I wonder what, because we can only move this, but this is in the way. Oh, we can move this. So what shape are we going for here? Can we only, can we only move the white blocks? But I can't grab this one. How did we get the, oh, okay. Okay. Do we have to get like a checkmate? I still can't move that. I think maybe we have to get a checkmate. Okay, so I took a break from the chess puzzle to look at the hint and the hint went straight to the coin. So I'm gonna continue on with that. Uh, so he's talking about the, the game. Okay, so the damage coin. The coin was probably minted in 1827. The first two numbers were faded, but it was a familiar shilling. I immediately thought of the box from the drawing and the cipher needed to open it. Led by intuition, I set the dial so that the numbers corresponded with those on the coin. So I'm gonna do this one, I think. I've already forgotten what it was. <laughs> 1827, okay. So I guess we'll try that because it's um, the chess puzzle. I was hoping maybe to find a hint on it, but it, there it is. Wait a minute. Huh? Is that the way it works? No. Because now this is like completely in the way. Is that what we're supposed to do? Okay. So yeah, it is mentioned here. Entering the correct code caused the spears hither crossed. Hither, hitherto crossed. Above the lock to reposition. I only needed to move them slightly to access the keyhole. I did not have the key, however. So I guess we gotta look for the key. Nope, I want to, I'm, I keep forgetting all of the controls for this. Well, I guess I could just read this one on my own. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs three, five through six. I don't know 
What ESV stands for, though? Okay. Uh, oh. Screwdriver. I want a screwdriver, a trusty tool made for minor repairs. Okay. Everyone became obsessed with you when the book was published. I did too, a little. <laughs> that is relatable. Everybody's become like a fan. I think David kept his family portrait here. He would often gaze at it, lost in thought. I wonder why it's gone. I do too. How many pieces do we have? We only have three? Is that going to be enough? No, because we definitely need that one more. Where else haven't I looked? And it, the hints also want us to find the key, but I have not stumbled upon the key just yet. Um, oh, screwdriver, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there we go. It's going. It's, go it's going very slow, but it's going. There we go. And then we'll need it again for this. It's it's a little difficult to, to get the motions down correctly, but it's fine. Oh. Uh, I don't have anything for this at all. Right, because I can't, oh. Okay. Uh-huh. But I can't grab the other two. I don't have anything else to interact with this. Uh, and there's nothing over here. What does our trusty hint book say if we don't have any more hints? Oh! Oh, okay. So we took out this page and we put it in here. The clock's not working. It shows the wrong time. Remember, fix it. Um, and then this is that page that we just found and that's it. Okay, so we don't have any more hints to help us. We think more exploration around the room is needed. Um, so I get, I'm worried that it, that something is locked behind this chess piece thing. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow, this is such a statement piece. Long live the queen, hmm? <laughs> uh, oh, I can grab that book. Okay, hold on, hold on. Are there more books? There's five. There's one. Uh... Oh, there's two. Okay, maybe we have to pull these out in order. Hold on. One. Where did two go? Two. Three. What? Three was here. And then four. I didn't find four. There's five. Hello. There it is. Oh. Oh, hello, a winding key. Oh, do we need this for this? No, I don't think so. Oh my gosh, this thing was sitting right here. That's hilarious. Okay, Uh, so we got to put this together now. Uh. I think. Nope. Uh, let's see. Think so? Um, almost. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, we can rotate this. Okay, so I guess we can rotate all of them? Yeah. No. Yes. Yes. Oh. 
Why won't you go in? There we go. There we go. <gasps> the key, a brass key. A small brass key. I do not think it opens a door. Well, we have something that needs a brass key right here, right now. Did I put in the right number? 1827. Isn't that what I have? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I was like, why is it not working? Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. Okay, I guess we're done with the key, so it's there now. But now we have the cogs for this. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh. Okay. Cool. So now we just have to see... Okay, so now we just have to see which way it'll fit properly, right? I can't... Where does this last one go? Oh, oh, oh. I gotta move this first? Yeah. Okay, it's too small and that one over here doesn't seem to work either. Can't move that one. But I can move this one. Is that not it? Put this- oh, it's not touching there, okay. That's not gonna work there. Okay, so this is either one way or the other. That one can't move. So we need something slightly bigger. That's too small there. That's too big there. That might work. That won't. That might. What does this look like up here? That's way too big. Okay. Is this? No, it's not. Because that's not fitting there. Is that it? Oh! Was... Did that do anything? Oh, we have to wind it! Uh, how many times do we have to wind it? Oh! Okay. I... What am I... What is that? It's saying that I can grab something there, but there's nothing there. Is there anything that I can do here? Wow. They really make you wait 15 minutes for this. Well... I'm going to take it. Ostrich statue. A statuette of a white ostrich. It resembles a chess piece. So I knew to wait for this uh, in the hint book because uh, I guess, can I see that? Yes. Okay. Uh, for the winding key, all the cogs were in place. 
Uh, okay, I cannot- I saw this. For some weird reason it showed before it actually popped out. But it says, I cannot remember exactly where- whether the clock struck the hour and jolted me from my review, or I grew impatient and moved its hands by myself. Could I have honestly just moved the hands? Because that, that would be super annoying. I sat here for 15 minutes waiting for it. Regardless, one thing was a certain, a hand-carved cuckoo emerged from the clock. Um, and then we have to take this over to the chessboard. David's chess, I remember, I remember fondly, no, I fondly remembered David's chess set that we had spent so many nights using. I quickly spotted a bishop piece from the set standing by the fireplace. Upon examining the board, I noticed something was off about it. It seemed that the piece had been mounted on rails and were playing some sort of game. Studying the positions, I noticed a spot that would fit the bishop I had found. So the ostrich we have is a bishop. Could we move? We can't move these. Well, now we can't. I'm hoping we couldn't move them from the beginning because if I just sat there for 15 minutes for no reason at all, I'm going to be very grumpy. Um, so where does this go? There we go. Okay, now we can actually do this. Uh, there we go. Okay. What did that do? What did that- Oh, it gave us the lion statuette. A black statuette of a lion, the king of the beasts. Oh. Okay, I clicked it. It's something- Oh. Oh. Key with a lion head. Key with a lion head. A key removed from a chess piece. I think David one used this to open the door on the first floor. Now this has been an episode of me wandering around and having no clue on what to do, but we are done in here. As I, I searched for more clues, my concern for you only grew. I could not grasp what had happened while I was away. I could only hope that the letter from you referred to something else. I have already forgotten what the letter said. <laughs> Is this the key? Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say I wish I could close that door, but then he started talking, which is fine. I don't have any issues with that. Peekaboo! This place is not in good shape. Oh, can I open this? There we go. My worry turned to fear <gasps> when I entered the botanical room. Your botanical room. The plants, the displays, everything was ruined. I knew how much you loved them. What I saw broke my heart. At the same time, the determination and zeal to help you burned within me once more. I felt compelled to do something. Okay. Uh, that's fine and dandy and all, but I think I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here. I wish that I could close this, these doors. These doors are like very in the way. Okay, we're going to hide in this corner here and I'm going to call this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Sorry if it was a little annoying. Like sometimes these puzzles are just going straight over my head and I need a little bit of extra help, but it is what it is. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. If you liked it, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, go ahead and throw those down below. And if you want to continue this journey with me, go ahead and hit subscribe so you get a notification on when the next episode comes out. But until then, I'll see y'all later. Bye!